Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Laura and I generally do diamond painting content, hence the Diamond Painting by Laura <laughs> channel title. Um, but I had started a new series during my daily videos in December that I called Cozy Crafty Sunday and honestly by popular demand, which I was a little shocked about, <laughs> um, I have decided to bring it to my channel all year. So rather than it being every Sunday like I did in December, I'm thinking I'm going to make it like a once a month type thing. Um, so that's what we're here for today. So in today's Cozy Crafty Sunday video, I am going to be showing you guys how I make laminated bookmarks. Um, this is something that I started doing around Halloween because I actually made bookmarks to give out with my candy to my trick-or-treaters. And I do have some examples here to show you guys what we'll be making. And then I kind of have some Valentine's themed bookmarks in various stages of completion. Um, so I thought that we could do that together. So here are some of the Hall Halloween themed bookmarks that I made. Um, we have like kids in our neighborhood, like little, little kids. So I wanted to have like a little cutesy um, paper. This one is double-sided, which is my preferred. I had a whole bunch of other patterns. These are just three that I pulled from my little bucket. And then I had a variety of Christmas ones that I did. I love these two. I feel like this one could still go through like Valentine's and winter. And then we have some presents. We have some snowflakes. Now these papers were one-sided. I got a really good deal on some scrap of paper. Um, but unfortunately, oh, I just realized that the corners are not rounded on that one. Um, but unfortunately, the paper was only one-sided, which is fine. Like, I don't mind that, but I do prefer the two-sided paper. So let's talk about what you need to complete these bookmarks. First, I have some... Oh, these are the ones that I'm going to cut with you guys. I was like, why are those out? I have some double-sided paper from a shop on Amazon called Wayleen. I will leave a link. Um, I am opening a Amazon affiliate account, so I'm going to do like a storefront. Hopefully, if I can figure out how to do that. And I will name it like laminated bookmarks. And everything that you need to complete this project will be in that spot. Um, I hope you guys don't mind that I'm moving to Amazon affiliate links. It is not something that I've done in the past, but um, with Cozy Crafty Sunday, I will be sharing a lot more products on Amazon. And if I can have them all in like one spot, um, I think that that will be easy. Obviously, you are never obligated to shop through the affiliate links. I will still tell you what the item is. I'm not going to gatekeep the item and not tell you just so you click the link. I will still give you the name of the item the best that I can so that you can search it on Amazon yourself um, just in case you're not interested in affiliate links because I totally understand not always wanting to do everything through affiliate links. So um, but you will need some double-sided paper preferred. You don't have to have double-sided and I like it in the six by six um paper pad size because I make my bookmarks two inches by six inches tall. So you could definitely use eight and a half by 11 or 12 by 12, whatever you can find. Um, but I personally do prefer the six by six. So we have some double-sided paper. You will need a paper cutter. I have just a cheap off-brand one from Amazon. I will see if I can find this one or something similar and I will link that as well. You will also need well, I like to have a pencil and a small ruler. This is just a six inch uh, ruler that I got with my cutting machine, but I really enjoy using that one. You will also need a couple of hole punches. I have two different sizes and I will show you why in a little bit. And then oh, all of my little circles fell out of my hole punch then. And then I like to have a corner rounder. Now I recently upgraded to um, this one, which is just heavier duty. And it also has a, geez, it also has a bottom. So it traps all the little cut pieces there. I was using this one, which was fine, but I was having a problem with it like wearing down and it wouldn't cut through the laminate. So I upgraded to this one, but the really cheap like $4 ones also work 
um, most of the time. So corner rounder. I also have like a pair of scissors, which I probably won't need. And then we also need some laminating pouches. I got these off of Amazon. Uh, pretty much everything that I ever buy is off of Amazon, let's be honest. If it's not groceries, it's probably Amazon. <laughs> um, I like the pouches. They're just a bit easier for me to use. And then I do have a laminator right here, which I'm going to turn on. So you're probably going to hear like the humming noise. Um, this is just a cheap one. I think I got this for less than $20 on Amazon and it works well. So I'm going to turn that on. If you hear something going in the background, that's what that is. And then something else that I personally like to add to my bookmarks, which is why I have the whole punch are tassels. So I did pick up just a pack of white because this Valentine paper that I have is very, I feel like I'm going to use a lot of white tassels. So I did pick up a fresh thing of white, but in the past I have also picked up the just multicolor ones. So we have some papers that I'll probably just try to go through here and pick out a couple of different colors. I don't want them all to be red and white. Like I want to try to bring in some other colors. So I have tassels and I think that's it. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Yeah, I think we're good to go. So I have pulled one of each of these papers out already. So you get two sheets of the same pattern. Um, and there are 12, I believe 12 different patterns. I have two that I'm going to start from the beginning with you guys. Um, but then I also have some that are kind of in various states. So these have all been cut. The corners have been rounded. They have their first hole punch and they're all laminated. I have a few that I did go ahead and, um, cut. I just have not rounded the corners of the laminate. We can do that together. And then I think, I think that's everything. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. I am not very like technical with this. I just kind of, I don't know. I was like, I want to make bookmarks. <laughs> I want to make bookmarks is what I said one day. And I was like, I wonder how I could do it. And I went on, I found some cute paper and I've just kind of been winging it since then. So if you have a better way, that is fair, but <laughs> this is how I do it. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys will find it interesting and entertaining. All right. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to cut these into our strips of, you know, the actual bookmark. So this paper is advertised, advertised as being six by six. It's actually a little bit smaller. Um, let me bring you guys down. I'm going to be very honest with you again. I cannot read a ruler. <laughs> if it's not like a whole number or a half, these little lines mean absolutely nothing to me. So <laughs> yes, I learned how to read like a ruler and a measuring tape in school. I just, it didn't stick and I can't do it. So when I'm like, just do this, just bear with me. So <laughs> since this is not a full six by six, um, it actually reaches from this, this first little line to this line. So it's like one off. Um, so I just have been centering the paper and then these bookmarks are going to be a little bit of a different size, but I, I don't sell them. Um, I'm making three of each one for me and one for each of my nieces. So I'm going to do a little mark at the two inch mark and a little mark at the four. And then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to do the same thing. Obviously these don't have to be perfect. So we've got that one and then we will do this one. Now don't worry about the pencil mark because when I round the edges, um, that is actually going to cut off the pencil mark. So, all right, we have our marks. So I think I'm done with my pencil. Let's bring our paper cutter in. And I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get this like clear enough for you guys. Bring some more light over and hopefully that will help. Okay, so I'm going to line up my little pencil marks here and here. So this is the middle of where the cut the blade goes through. So I just like to measure it or not measure it, get it as close to the center as I can. 
and then we have a cut and you can see you can barely see the pencil mark it just kind of cuts perfectly through the middle and then I'm gonna do the same thing here so we have our first paper I love this little heart one it's so cute and as someone who's a romance book reader, I mean, I love my fantasies, don't get me wrong, but I do love a good romance every now and then. Um, these Valentine's Day bookmarks will just go with so many romance books. Okay, so we have everything cut, so I'm going to put the paper cutter away for now. Next up, I'm going to take my corner punch uh, now this one has three sizes. You have small, medium, and large. I will use the small and medium at various times during this project. So we're going to start with the small. Now this one I like much better because the other one I would have to hold upside down to make sure I was lining it up. This one is like very clear. You know exactly when it's lined up. So you just put your paper in. Make sure it's touching on both sides. And there we go. We've got a rounded corner. So I'm going to do this with everything that we have cut here. Um, the other ones obviously are done. I do have some here that I didn't laminate yet because I didn't want to waste a piece of laminate. So here is one where you can see the pencil mark right there. Once you round the edge, it's gone. Okay. Now, you don't have to make these just for holidays, obviously. I do have some, I just can't remember. I actually bought like a little rotate spinny acrylic thing. I think it's actually a pen holder, but I bought it so I could put it on top of my bookshelf so that I could organize all these bookmarks um, because I can't remember where I put my like everyday bookmarks. They're around here somewhere. Um, but I actually just picked up some new paper which I have somewhere. Is it here? Yeah, it's right here. I did pick up some new paper to do like every day, like non-holiday themed. And these are really pretty. There were a couple that I was like, ooh, I love that. Like look at the little suns. So pretty. This is a different sizing though. These are 5.8 by 8.3, so. That'll be fun to trim down, <laughs> but it's by the same company. Waylene, I think is how you pronounce it. And I believe that's also where I got the Halloween paper from. They seem to be the most affordable double-sided paper option that I have found. Okay, so these are all corner rounded. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the large hole punch if I can find it. What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. So I'm gonna take the large hole punch and I'm just gonna eyeball it. You could like measure and figure out the perfect center, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. Again, I'm not selling these. I'm just making them for fun. And my nieces don't really care and neither do I. So just somewhat in the center, if you can find it. I do need to buy a new um, hole punch because my little trap door there is broken and now all my little pieces fall out. Okay, so I think my laminator is ready. So let's go ahead and pull that over. I'm going to pull you guys up just a little bit. I have little pieces of hole punch everywhere. Okay, so let me pull this and I'm going to do it, hopefully you guys can see everything. It was actually a little premature in pulling that over because I need to put these in to the laminating pouch. So if you've never used a laminating pouch, one side is like fully sealed and then you can open my hair is on it. You can open this side, 
ta-da! And I like to do four just because I feel like I'm using up a good amount of the laminating pouch and um, things don't get too close where they touch and you're like, oh gosh, I have a disaster on my hands. So, got that. How many of these do I have left? Perfect. Look at me, I actually did my math right. Way to go, Laura. Okay, so I do have a little bit of trouble loading the laminating pouch because I, I, I don't know, I get nervous, but it's fine. Let's go ahead. Hopefully this doesn't bend. Just got to wait for it to kind of grip it and then it'll take itself. I've used a laminator so many times. Like I used to do the big industrial one at work. So I don't know. Oh. I don't think this pouch is, I don't think this is ready. Oh, I'm such a dummy. I put it on cold. Goodness gracious. I'm gonna have to come back. I put it on cold laminating and not hot. <laughs> That's actually the first time I've ever done that. I always do stupid stuff in videos, guys. I'm sorry that you have to watch me. Okay, so I'm gonna put this laminator back so that it can warm up. I was wondering why it didn't feel very hot. Um, and then we will come back to this once these are warmed up. So let's just put these over here and let's start cutting what we do have laminated. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. All right, so I have my paper cutter and this is not going to be very technical. So I apologize, but what I like to do when I'm cutting the lamination is you can see this little ruler here. Well, over here is our little well where the uh, paper cutter goes through. So what I like to do is I like to line up the edge of the decorative paper, the scrapbook paper, with this little lip right here. So you can see that that leaves me with, I don't even know what this would be. Where's my ruler? <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to tell you what the measurement is, but I can show you what it is. Let's see. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. I got it, you guys. This is... Uh not quite okay so like this is half a centimeter this longer mark here so it's like 0.3 maybe <laughs> that ends up being my overhang and I like that I think that it looks nice because obviously like you have the paper and then this just gives that secure little I don't know a little strip so that you know that your bookmark is secure because that's where it's laminated if that makes sense so what I'm gonna do is I just like to cut all of them and then I do the same thing all the way around so from the top it's the same And then, like that. So here is our little laminated border. Obviously you don't have to laminate them, but I do feel like it makes it a bit more secure. Um, some people just use, I mean, some people use like receipts for bookmarks. <laughs> um, I don't know, I'm extra. You guys know I'm extra with my diamond painting accessories. I'm just as extra with my book things. I like to have a somewhat coordinating bookmark. And this is just the most like affordable way for me to do that is to make them myself. <laughs> and like I mentioned before, I am making three sets because I will give my nieces each one. I don't know if I'm gonna give them to them for Valentine's Day or before then, I don't quite know. 
Okay, I think our laminators are ready and actually on hot this time. So let me finish cutting this one. Perfect. Add this to my pile of cut laminated ones and let's bring the laminator back over. Hopefully it's good to go this time. Okay, so the light is on. Sorry I keep moving you guys up and down, but I'm trying to give you the best view of what we've got going on. Okay. It doesn't matter too much if they're a little bit crooked because when we trim them, um, that helps to straighten everything out. Looks like I went a little bit crooked here, but that's okay. There we go. You can see it's going from frosty to clear. That's how you know that it is actually sealed this time. Oh no. Obviously we will trim this part. It's gonna be a little bit crooked on the bottom, but that's okay. Okay, so we've got that one laminated. Now, if this was really bad, like if it was like bent over, I would just flip this around and I would laminate it again and it kind of helps to flatten it. So if you have that problem, it's happened to me before, kind of just flipping it around and laminating it again seems to help flatten it out. As long as you don't make the other side crooked as well. <laughs> okay, let's... Put our other, our last four into this laminating couch. I love that sound. I'm not very like a, I'm not a big like ASMR person, but for some reason separating a laminating sheet, it just does it for me. I don't know why. So you can see on the top there, it just helped smooth it out a bit. All right, let's feed this one through. Hopefully this one comes out a bit better. Are we going crooked again? We might be going crooked again. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, this is why I prepped most of what we had to do today because I didn't want you guys to just sit here watching me zone out to laminating scrapbook paper. <laughs> it's easy to do, trust me. All right, so now I can turn the laminator off, put it off to the side here. I'm going to put these on the bottom because there is one more of this striped pattern. All right, now I don't think I'm gonna do all of these with you, so I'm gonna pick, um, oh, here's the other striped one. Okay, let me All right, let's, let's just do the ones that we started with. Why not? So I'll do these other ones off camera, um, but I wanna pick out some fun tassels with you guys. So let's get these ones cut. Let me put you down a little bit so you can hopefully see kind of what I'm doing. So again, I'm just lining up the edge of the decorative paper right with the corner of, not the corner, with the edge of this ruler here. And then that's giving me that nice even um, cut because like I said before, 
my my bookmarks don't always go in to the laminator street which means they don't come out straight you can see this one is kind of crooked and if I had just like lined up the laminator sheet it could potentially give me an uneven cut so that's why I kind of bypass the laminator sheet for this step and I just go based on the bookmark so even though I'm probably cutting crooked technically um it will still be straight because I'm going based off of the bookmark itself so you may have to mess around with this a little bit based off of your cutting device um you could certainly do this by hand you could absolutely round the corners by hand. You don't need a paper rounder or a corner rounder, but it just makes it so much easier. And when I was making these for Halloween for trick-or-treaters, I made like hundreds. <laughs> so if you're busting out a large number, you know, you might prefer... to have the tools to make it easier for you. Okay, so we will leave the rest. I'll do them off camera. I probably won't come back and show them to you. Maybe I'll pop in a picture once I finish them. Um, but we have, looks like we have five different colorways. I'll probably take this one away and we will do these four different colors. Okay, so next step is to round the corners again and to put a hole punch so we can put a tassel. So I'm gonna start with the rounding the corners. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I did recently replace my corner rounder with a sturdier one because I was having problems cutting through the lamination. So when I was looking for a new one, I was putting in like heavy duty corner rounder and I was looking for the ones that said that they could cut through lamination. Um, this is not super thick laminate, but um, it was still just thick enough that the cheaper corner rounder wasn't working for me anymore. So I think this one was like 11 bucks, which I think is still pretty reasonable. It is the Kadomaru Pro. So when we cut the paper before laminated, we used the small side. Now I'm going to be using the medium, which is the one in the front here. And it's the same method, obviously, but you can see that the two just kind of nestle really nicely together. So I don't want to use the small one again because I don't want it to be like an awkward curve, but I also don't want to use the large size because I don't want to just cut away all this laminate. So I find that the medium works very nicely and it just looks cohesive. So there's that. I will round the corners on all of these fairly quickly. It's a very quick thing to do. And this particular one that has the little um, trap there, you can see all of my little scraps. This is a game changer. <laughs> The other one, I would have to like bang on the table just to get it. Um, oh, I want that one cut. There we go. Um, I had to like bang it on the table to get all the little pieces unjammed and it was, so, it was a little bit of a mess. So definitely a big fan of this one. Even if you make like cards or something and you need a paper rounder, I like this one a lot. All right. Sorry if I'm like, I feel like I'm breathing really heavily. <laughs> my nose is a little stuffy. So I feel like I'm breathing through my mouth. And I do apologize for that. Okay, here we go. Almost done. And obviously the pink and pink and orange, no, the pink and red, I just realized I did all the ones that say love. I didn't give you any variation. I apologize. Um, the ones that say love in white, I'm going to use white tassels just because I feel like that will look the nicest. 
probably gonna use red tassels, but for these striped ones, I might pick like three different colors just for something fun. A little bit of variety. This one was a little funky when I ran the laminate, ran it through the laminator, so it was a little bit harder to cut, but very impressed with this particular item. Okay, next we're going to punch the holes so we can feed the tassel through. Now, when we cut just the paper, I used this larger size. I don't remember what size hole punch this is, but I will link, um, I'll be sure to link them in the Amazon storefront if I can figure that out. If not, it'll just be in the description, but these came in a pack of two. So this one is larger, this one is smaller. I prefer to use the smaller one once I've laminated. So you can see that it still has some of that lamination, just as a little bit more support. Um, is it going to prevent anything from happening? Maybe, maybe not, but I do like to have the smaller hole versus just using the same size hole punch. So I'm gonna do all of these. Oop, that one was a little off center, that's okay. Again, I just eyeball, doesn't have to be perfect. If I was attempting to sell these, I would be a little bit more precise, but since they're just for personal use, they don't have to be perfect. Okay, so these are all, um, the corners are rounded, they're all hole punched, and we're ready to add some tassels. So I have the white ones, and then I also have my bag of different colored ones. I do have some more. I actually started using these because when I annotate books, I make my own bookmark. If that's something that you guys want to see in the future, let me know. But I have like cardstock, but like really thick, sturdy cardstock um, bookmark blanks. And I put my tabs on them and I do like my key and everything. And then I like to pick a matching uh, tassel. So I do have some other ones available if I need them, but I think we can make whatever I have in here work although i think we used a lot of the red ones for christmas so i might have to dig into my secret stash but let's do the white ones first because i have a brand new pack actually do i have any white in here i do let me grab the whites that are here first I know that I'm going to use mostly white on a lot of these just because of the color palette, but let's do these ones first. So you do have to pinch these pretty small to get them through the little hole here, but I just pinch it, feed it through and pull it. And then I just pull it through the loop. And there we go. We have a bookmark. Look at that. So again, I just pinch it as tiny as I can. I go as far up as I can with my fingers, pull it through and loop it. So we'll do these red ones and the pink ones. And then I will grab my other tassels. I just realized I was not in frame. There we go. I'm wondering if I have like a mauve color for those striped ones. I think that would look pretty. Because the striped ones are like all year round usable, right? I pulled a couple pinks, but I'm wondering if I have something a little bit darker, question mark. Let me grab my tackle box, which is right here. This is my 
book annotating tackle box. <laughs> so I have some pens and highlighters, and then you can see here I have some more tassels. These are the blank, like, cardstock ones I was talking about. They're really thick. I don't have any that I've done in here to show you, but I have all my book tabs. Uh, I have some stamps, some little thinner book tabs. All right, let's see. Do I have any red? I have this one. Ooh, it looks like I need to stock up on some other colors. Okay. I should have checked that before I placed my order, but that's okay. When my nieces were here for their pre-Christmas sleepover, they made some bookmarks, and I forgot that we used most of the red colors that I had. That's okay. No worries. Another Amazon purchase. <laughs> I do have a couple of white ones in here and I just have some light pinks. So I don't know that that's exactly what I want. I was going to pick up the multi-pack of tassels. I was just gonna buy the same. Wow, I just hit my hat on my light. <laughs> I was gonna buy the same set that I did before, but I was like, no, I should have enough. Don't listen to me. But I think, Ooh, that's actually kind of pretty. I think I might use this color for myself. What do we think? I think I like that. And then, ooh, yeah, I think I like that, it's pretty. And then I think this is a good match for this one. Very traditional Valentine's y. And then I think I think this would work for this one. I think that's pretty close. So we'll do that. And then maybe we'll do the other striped one with a pink. With a pink tassel. But which pink? I'm thinking this light one. It's not a perfect match, but it's pretty close. All right, so we have some bookmarks. I do need to go ahead and make an order for some tassels. Now, you can order like one color. Obviously, I ordered white. I've ordered just black tassels in the in the past. Um, so you, I could just go ahead and order some red. I might just order the variety pack for future need because I don't see myself stopping making bookmarks anytime soon. I actually picked up a, I told you guys this at the beginning, but I might as well show you. I picked up one of these acrylic spinny things that I'm gonna put on top of my bookshelf and I'm going to store all these fun little bookmarks in them. Now, I have a lot more Christmas and winter ones. I have a lot more Halloween ones, so it'll be a bit more full. But won't this look so cute? Like, let me grab my, I can just kind of, oh, I just pulled the tassel right out of that one. There we go. And then I can just spin and find the bookmark that I want. So that is today's cozy crafty sunday i hope you guys enjoyed seeing how i like to make laminated bookmarks if you guys have any questions please leave them in the description or not the description box please leave them in the comments down below um happy to point you in the right direction if there's something specific that you're looking for um these are just fun and a cute little gift i like I mentioned, I did give them out for Halloween to trick-or-treaters. I'm thinking I might give my nieces a set for Valentine's Day. They're watching, so girls, let me know. Do you want <laughs> do you want them now or do you want them um, with your Valentine's Day gift? But I love the holidays and celebrating seasons and stuff. And like, it, like you guys know, I enjoy matching things. So it's just a fun little craft. It's really easy to do. You can sit and like binge watch a TV show or a movie 
while you're working on them and I love to collect things as you all know as well. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I hope you're excited that Cozy Crafty Sunday is back on the channel. Like I mentioned at the start, it will be just once a month. Um, I'm going to try to do like seasonal things, but I thought these would make a cute um, little Valentine goodie if you're like a teacher and you're looking for something to give your students for Valentine's Day or um, your kids or if you have a very awesome partner who's making you a book bouquet which I would love but I don't think I'm gonna get one <laughs> these would be awesome um, just an awesome little addition so let me know what you guys think um, if you have any ideas for next month's cozy crafty Sunday let me know I kind of have an idea that's like Valentine's-y but um I don't know. I thought today that you guys are watching this is the 14th of January, exactly one month until Valentine's Day. So I thought it would be a fun little pre-Valentine's Day thing to do together. I'm going to finally let you go. I've been rambling a lot, but I will see you guys tomorrow, Monday, for a kitten chat, I believe. Uh, it could potentially be a whipping chat, but I'm, I'm banking on a kitten chat would be my preference. So I will see you guys on Monday. I hope everybody has a great rest of your weekend and I will see you in my next video. Bye!